Welcome guys back to another video in the channel. Today we're doing the Real Valladolid career mode series. We are in episode 6 and we have a game against Sevilla. As you can see in the table, we are in 14th. And this game against Sevilla is quite big because we are not doing the best. You know, our form is pretty terrible. And uh, only because of the draws, we are to see in 14th. And this is the side we're going to go with. i um, going to go with the back 5 actually. Um, we need some more defenders in this side because we keep conceding so many goals. It sounds like Arsenal at this rate, mate. We, we could, just can't defend. Um, even though we've got some good defenders so as you can see we are starting to play this game against um Sevilla um yeah we are at the Estadio Jose Doria uh, in Valladolid um it'd be interesting to see how this game goes to be fair because I don't know Sevilla are much better side but yeah, uh, here, uh, as you can see here, some piece, good piece of defending, but we give it straight back to Eva Benega, who scores for Sevilla in the 8th minute. Again, that is horrible defending. The, we, in the initial defending was good, but then we just give it straight back. Um, we are coming forward now. Bubukari Samara gives off to Ennis Unal. Unal's coming forward, but the defender intercepts very well. And they've got another chance with Suso and a brilliant save there from Masip, but the defender heads it back, and uh, we are coming forward. Uh, here comes Suso again and gives it to Luke Diong back to Eva Benega. They are passing around quite well. His Benega again. His Benega gets some skill away and he scores. Oh my god. To be fair, that was a very good play there from Eva Benega. And you can't really stop that in the 28th minute. And we are 2 0 down. We are coming forward now with Owen Windle, who has been very uh, good for us since he's come in. Bubakai Samara plays a good ball to uh, Enes Unal. Enes Unal has a shot and he scores. And we have got one back against Sevilla. They are coming forward now with R. Lopez. Oh, that's a bad tackle. That is a very, very bad tackle. And I think he will be getting sent off for this one. That is very poor, poor stuff there from Kiko Olivas. And uh, as you can see here, he will get sent off. Um, yeah, this is the replay. But he has got sent off there. And uh, yeah, as you can see, that's the confirmation. Kiko Olivas has got sent off. They're not going to do anything from the free kick, though. He just flies it straight over. But we are a man down, and they do have a corner in the 75th minute, uh, which they play onto the top towards the edge of the box, and they do hit it, and a brilliant save there from Masip. They are coming forward now uh, with Luke De Jong. Skills past so many of our players, we just can't defend, and they give it to Jordan, and another brilliant save from Masip. He has been so good for us. Uh, they've put in another corner. We're trying to defend it away, um, but and we are still trying to clear, and we just can't. And a, another brilliant save there from Masip, but we are trying to come forward. But we give it back to Navas with a shot and a brilliant uh, stuff there, and that is full time. Very very poor defending again. Same same mistake. Same old same old, and uh, we're just not improving. We just need can't get wins on the board right now, and it's uh, it's very poor. And we are going to get into some training now um, uh, with Appa, Salisu, Samari and Windle. Hopefully we can get these guys up to 80 before the end of the season. That would be the key for us right now. And uh, with uh, getting into some uh, news with our team and Kiko Olivas is actually really unhappy at the club. Uh, obviously he wants to, you know, he, he we might have to look to selling him. He is around like... What is he like? He's 30 years old. So we might look to sell him if we do get some decent offers in, but only if we get decent offers in. So we'll be moving on now to the next game, which is against Celta Vigo. Celta Vigo on the greatest team. I'm pretty sure they're in a relegation battle with us as well at the Estadio Avanca Baleados um, in uh, Celta Vigo. And uh, hopefully we do win this game. You know, as you can see there, you did see our team there uh, that we were going with. Hopefully we do win this game again. It's a must win. And. <sighs> What more do I say, man? We really need to get some wins on the board. And uh, so hopefully we can do that against Celta Vigo. Uh, they have got a corner now with Sisto. Sisto puts in a beautiful cross in and they head it across. Here's Araujo and he cuts back inside and a good stop there from Masip. Uh, they are coming forward again with player. Player gives it back to Smolov. Can Salisu get back? Uh, good stuff there from Salisu. And he gives it straight back to Sisto. Sisto's cutting back inside and Sisto scores. Same old, same old defending. Oh my god, when's this gonna end? Pauline, uh, his uh, player again gives it to Yoxlu. Uh, good stuff there from Windle to win it back. And his Enes Unal, can he make something happen here? Gives it off to Hatem Ben Arfa. Hatem Ben Arfa cuts back inside. Good stuff there, and we score 1 1 now. Brilliant stuff there. Enes Unal wins it back, gives to Hatem Ben Arfa, and he will not miss from that distance. And it is 1 1 in the 24th minute. And uh, here you'll see the replay of the goal. Uh, actually, this is a goal I'm very proud of. We win it back very well. Own wind or gives us hand to Manafa, and the way out to Manafa cuts back and scores is exceptional. 
and they are coming forward now in the second half plays a beautiful crossover to Sisto Sisto plays it back inside and a good stop there from Masip to just play it out to Alcaraz and they are coming forward now with a player gives it to York Slu his player back to York Slu gives it to player and a good shot there and a brilliant save there from Masip and we are coming forward now with Enesu now. He is pretty clear of everyone around him. His Enesu now can he have a shot and he's just hit the bar. Oh my god, we're so unlucky. His uh, Tony Villa and it's the end of the game now. I'm pretty sure the full time whistle will blow. And it is a 1-1 one -one draw. Uh, if we didn't do that defensive mistake, we would have won this game. We just keep costing, man. God. So we've got a scouting update now for one of our players. Su Susak has come back from Croatia and as you can see here, none of them to be honest are any good. And yeah, this guy looks alright to be fair, we might sign him up. Um yeah, and he is values like hundred and something hundred thousand pounds and the board are really happy with their youth development, which is one player in the midfield position. And he is 54 overall, 15 years old, so I think he could be a good talent. I'm not really gonna train him up to see where he goes in terms of his development. Uh, so now we are going to be moving on. We've got an offer for Kiko Olivas, so we are going to try and negotiate this. Uh, I'm not sure how this negotiation will go because he's 30 years old, so trying to get a lot of money will be very hard for him. They put an offer of 6.4 million. I do want a bit more than that. I'm not going to send him for that much. He is a starting centre back, and I don't think I'll be able to replace him. So his release clause is 12.4 million pounds. I'm going to try and get closer to that. To be fair, I should have accepted this 8.2. It's actually very good money for the him player, but we have rejected it, and uh, we are going to be moving on to another offer that comes in for Kiko Olivas, and uh, we do ask for again the same sort of towards the release clause, but again they're just not going to pay that kind of money, and we do reject that one as well. Uh, obviously, we're not getting any luck with trying to sell Kiko Olivas for the price I want him to, which is again you can't really say much more than that. So that is going to be the end of the episode. Um, quite short, but again, we're gonna next episode will be against Real Sociedad, and uh, we finished the episode in 13th, which isn't too bad. We're gonna continue with the five at the back in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and uh, hopefully in the next episode we do get a bit more luck. And see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.